Hello guys, so today I have here my JBL Live 300 TWS wireless earbuds and today I want to show you here how to upgrade the firmware version of these earbuds. Okay, so let me get going right away. So the first thing that I am personally doing is I'm going to connect the earbuds here or the charging case to the power supply. So to the charger, I'm going to charge the uh, case just to make sure that the earbuds are not running out of power while the firmware upgrade is in progress. Otherwise, this may damage the earbuds and you may not be able to use them at all anymore. So the next thing is I'm going to make sure that uh, the earbuds are connected here to my phone, to my smartphone. In this case, this is here the uh, iPhone. It works exactly the same way, by the way, for an Android phone as well. So next I'm going to need here the J my JBL headphones app. In case you don't have this installed yet, then just go to your Google Play Store or the App Store and install this right away. And then you see here, as soon as you start the application, it's going to recognize the earbuds here in a second. And then here you see this orange icon here with the arrow pointing down that indicates that there is a software or a firmware update available. You see this here, 3.3.0 is available. So I'm going to click on install. And the first thing that it's going to do now is it's going to download here the firmware from the internet. This may take a couple of minutes depending on your internet connection. But actually what happened to me at this point is here that I had a little fault here, I had some error. So see this goes back to zero now and then in the second it's actually going to tell me something here failed, the upgrade failed, error code 14, whatever that means, I don't know. And uh, so now I was troubleshooting this a little bit and the only way that I could recover the situation and to make it actually start the upgrade was to uh, first close the case of the earbuds, to turn off the earbuds and then also to kill the my JBL headphones app by double clicking here on the home button then swiping up on the application. So and after I did that then I was opening up the charging case again and I restart here the uh, JBL headphones app. As before the uh, app recognizes here the earbuds I'm going to install pressing install here it's going to start downloading the software. This takes a couple of minutes as I said before so I'm going to fast forward this here at this point and eventually it's going all the way up to 100% and then it's going to actually install the firmware on the earbuds it's going to restart them and then interestingly it tells you here the confirmation says version 2.8.7 which is the old version but uh, don't worry about that it actually installs the correct version so then you press ok or press done here at this point the uh, earbuds restart again they reset and in a couple of seconds they are going to reconnect to the phone and at that point then we can double check we can confirm that there's the right earbud or the right firmware version on there so now it's reconnected we're going to press here the cog wheel on the upper right corner to go to the settings menu and then here on the very bottom you see here firmware version 3.3.0. So this is correct. We are upgraded to the latest version. This is already it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any more questions leave a comment below. And don't forget to check out my other videos about these earbuds.